Hello everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. I told you last week that we would take a little trip up into my attic to explore some of the crafty treasures up there. Uh, this is not my attic. We are back in my bedroom where we were a couple weeks ago when I gave you a little tour of my sewing nook. My sewing nook is right over there. And these are the shelves where I display my fabric. This fabric is all of my high quality quilting cotton that I get at my local quilt shop. And I have it all, all organized and I thought you'd like to see it. And I, the reason I thought you'd like to see it is because I do display it. And visually I think it's really attractive, right? So I have all of my solids up here. Behind the solids are all of my novelty fabrics back there. You know, these, these also go two layers deep with fabric, but I don't think I have an exorbitant amount of fabric. Like I mentioned, up in the attic, I do have some additional fabric, um, fabric that I get at box stores or my fabric reuse center or that has been gifted to me and I may not know where it came from, that kind of thing. But besides that, this is it. I don't collect fabric, I make quilts. And so I try to use the fabric that I have faster than I bring fabric in to my life and I've not been successful at that, especially recently. I keep acquiring more and more fabric and I need to pump the brakes and start, you know, making more stuff. But this is where I keep my beautiful, beautiful fabric. Let's go into the attic. Uh, it is a hot mess up there. It is a little crazy. And part of the reason I'm making this video is to inspire myself to get up there, get organized, clean it up, which we're obviously not doing today. Today we're just showing and thinking about it. But I'm going to be inspired in the coming weeks to clean it up, organize it. It has a lot of potential up there, but it's just unusable space right now. And I think it'll be good to show this video because then when it's all clean and done, we can have the before and after. So let's go ahead upstairs and take a look. Here we go. Up the stairs. So here's the stairs coming up and right at the top of the stairs are these bins. These bins here are where all of my other fabric lives. I have two long ones on the bottom and then a couple smaller ones on top. But between that and the fabric that I just showed you in the bedroom, this is all of my regular quilting cotton, not including my flannels, which I'll show you the flannels in a second. But let's take a look at these bins. This is also not a great place for them just because to get to that fabric, I have to be standing on the stairs, which is not great. And then next to the fabric are all of my beads. I used to make jewelry, which I still dabble in a little bit, but I'm just so obsessed with quilts that I don't have a lot of time for the jewelry anymore. But on the top there, right here, you can see I have some buttons, jars of buttons. Part of the problem is to get to these bins on the bottom, I have to take all of these bins off of the top and then I put the bins kind of at the top of the stairs here and which is not a safe situation because sometimes I don't put them back. But let's take these off for a second. So these here are all of my fabrics that are about, um, you know, like a quarter yard or less. These are my solids, but again, I, these are the box store solids versus downstairs were, you know, the nice quilting shop solids. This one, and then these three bins here, two long ones and one short one, are just all regular quilting cottons in yardage. And, you know, I have some nice, I have some nice prints here. For my quilts, I combine these with the ones downstairs. I don't feel like I can only put these together or only put the nice quality ones downstairs. I'll mix and match, and it gives me more options that way. All right, let's keep going. So here's, here's the beads, right? And then if you keep walking over here, I have my gift wrapping area right here. So these drawers have like bows and bags. And then I have the wrapping paper, tissue paper. Now these bins here are either minky fabric or jersey. I think the two on the bottom are jersey and the one on the top is minky. Then I have this big dresser here. And this is where we kind of get going with all of my random crafty things. So like I collaged, look at that face. Isn't that cool? I mean, I didn't collage the face. The face was already made in a magazine and I took it off and collaged it and painted this pot. And most of the pots have, um, you know, I painted the little dish to go underneath it. I'm not going to show you, you know, all of this stuff, but you know, in, this this doesn't belong in here, right? This was just in here. This is eyes for stuffed animals, like little button eyes that you put in. Stencils, stencils. I have some yarn down here. I think. Let's look at this. Let's look in this drawer. I think 
the bottom drawer is yarn as well. Let's take a look. Yeah. So there's all the yarn. I have some crochet needles in there. My husband crocheted for a while. I tried it and didn't love it, but I use the yarn for all kinds of little crafty projects. And here I have a whole lifetime supply of stamps, 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 stamps. And these are really cool. If you are a stamp lover, I got these on Amazon, these containers, you, how do you do this? Uh, oh, so you can open them up from the front and slide the tray out. So you can take your stamps out and then if you flip it over there's another one on the other side so that's really great for storage what's in the top drawer here oh i have empty boxes because when i was doing my jewelry making i'm trying to sell some of the jewelry with all these boxes and then more boxes over there do you see in the corner there's more boxes on that shelf back there and then here's my serger because i wanted to make clothes but i never figured out how to use the serger. I never tried to figure out how to use the serger. And then hair clips. I used to make fabric flower hair clips, which you can see in here. And then these were the backing clip part of the hair clip. Let's see, what's in this box here? Oh, gems. These I actually use pretty frequently in a whole variety of projects. Those are pretty handy. This is to display some of the necklaces, but I never used that. I have glitter in here. And then I have some finished necklaces, I think, in this drawer. Oh, this drawer is pretty empty, actually. I think that the finished necklaces are kind of randomly around. Then over here, I have more jersey in these two bins. I have a lot of jersey because I was gonna make I was gonna make clothes. Then, let's see, so now we have some shelves back here. I have a little sewing machine that doesn't work all that well. I have my hoops kind of hanging from those nails. This is some crowns that I made, flower crowns. Christmas flannel fabric. Canvas fa fabric, it says one of two, but I've gotten this down to one, so this is just one. Embroidery, tea towels, fabric flower pieces. What's in this one? Let's see. Oh, I think this is more yarn stuff. Let's see. Um, no, it's like ribbon and ra random like tool. This here is my Christmas fabric. And that's what we just looked at. And down here I have two bins of lace. I have a lot of lace because I get it at that fabric reuse center for super cheap. This is a bin of my scraps. This is all quilting cotton scraps, smaller than the fat quarters. Here's some more lace over here. This is, let's see what's in this bin. This is like twine and embroidery floss and stuff like that. The very bottom bin right here is fleece. The one above it is felt. There's the scrap bin again. Over here, I have things to make wreaths out of, wreath making things. Then I have fabric that is that doesn't really fall into any categories, kind of random fabric that I really like. This is also a bin of random fabric. I see some like velvet in there and upholstery fabric. Pipe cleaners, punches, wands, and butterfly pieces. Let's see what that is. I actually know what that is, but we'll just take a peek in there. I used to make these butterfly wands with like ribbons. So here's a couple wands that I never sold. I sold a lot of these, but these two are left. And then I have all the pieces to make, to make the wands in here. And then underneath this, I have all of my washi tape. Below that, I have two bins of flannel. Flannel fabric, and then the bin underneath that is flannel fabric. I have some really nice flannels. I love quilt making with flannel fabric. It's so soft and cozy, it's great. So, so I utilize those quite a bit. Then over here, I was making COVID masks for a while, so that's that bin. Under that is, I was making warmers, like to sleep with, to warm up in the microwave. I have a video on that. 
Uh, so you can, I'll link to that in the description of this video. Uh, letters. I think these are just like random crafting letters. Like there's some cork letters in here and some wood letters. So these are all things that aren't quilt related, but that I'm not quite ready to get rid of. And then on the bottom there, I have a bin of feathers. And then back here, you can see my awful heart pillow back there that I use as a stuffing holder, but I have more stuffing. And then in that bin there are batting scraps and a bunch of jars. I feel like I need to keep these jars. Look at how cute those are. They're like teeny tiny jars with corks because I feel like they're going to be useful in some way, but I also feel like I shouldn't hold on to things just for the sake of keeping them. Paper crafting stuff. And then let's take a look and see what's in these drawers. I have my, I have like just bags, bags of bags that I don't want to throw away. I have tablecloths for my craft sales. Um, more bags of bags. And then this is my fusible interfacing, which should be labeled, but it's not. Oh, it is. So this one is double-sided fusible interfacing. And let's see if this one is labeled. Nope. But these are just interfacing bits. And then this is um, floral tape, which actually has come in handy in a variety of ways. Let's see what's in this down here. I think these are my patterns. So, like I said, I was potentially interested in clothing patterns for a while, but never actually ended up doing anything with them. I still do want to make this top. I have some fabric for this top, which right here. So my friend gave this to me. I think it's a tablecloth, but oh no, this is a dress. This was a dress that I wanted to repeat, but my friend gave me a tablecloth that's also has kind of a similar material to that, that I wanted to cut up and make into one of these shirts. The bottom, these like random crafty things, pom-poms, air dry clay, these things. And then again, these are like tablecloths for my craft booths. What's in here? This is random stuff for my craft boothing. And then over here I have paint, paint stuff. So I have canvases down there, more canvases, papers of various things that I can paint on. And then you know, paint brushes and paints. In here are all of my paints. Let's take a look. So there's there's the paints, and those come in handy frequently. And this is the ground here. So a lot of this stuff I still haven't organized or put back from the last craft fair I did almost a year ago. I have this table right in the middle, which in theory would be really useful and wonderful, but it's covered in junk. Let's get a closer look at that junk. Yeah, it's like so much junk. Oh, there's a bunch of the necklaces, lots of bins, lots of like half thought out projects. So let's sit here for a minute at our little table that's covered in junk. There is another half of the attic that way that is equal in size, but it's all things like holiday decorations and sentimental stuff to the, that is being stored and paperwork and books and things like that is all over there. I'd love to get this side totally cleaned up. It can't really be a, a, a four seasons crafting space. It does have a radiator, so the heat is good. I can be up here in the winter, but in the summer, it is so hot. Uh, my house does not have central air, so we just suffer through the summers and it's fine. I like the heat, so it's okay, but to be up here in the summer is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, but I think that's okay. I mean, if I can use it three seasons out of the year, I'm not gonna be sewing up here, but if I can have the table, this table was cleared off over Christmas time and I was able to use it to wrap Christmas presents and stuff, or if I just wanted to do a little craft that didn't involve the sewing machine, I could come up here and then obviously get everything a little bit more organized in terms of storage. So. I will keep you posted if I make any progress. Maybe next time we come up here, it will be all spick and span. And in the long term, my husband and I really would like to kind of refinish this attic, to refinish the floors, you know, 
put drywall up or whatever you have to do to paint um, and make it, you know, a nice livable space up here. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.